West 46th Street. 344 West 46th Street. Right. You are in the cash cab. It's a TV game show that takes place right here oh, is that right? in my taxi. Yeah. <laughs> I'm your host. My name is Ben Bailey. Oh, I'm going to drive you to your destination. I'm going to ask you general knowledge questions along the way. But here's the catch. If you get three wrong, that's three strikes and you're out. Which means I'm going to pull over and take you out on the spot. On the spot? Right yeah. where we are. And you'll lose everything. All right, so those are the rules of the game. What do you say? Do you want to play? You bet. All right, let's take a ride in the cash cab. Uh, okay. All right, here we go, Jared. So what's your name? Uh, my name is Bill. Bill, welcome to the cash cab. Thanks. All right, you're headed up to 46th between 8th and 9th. That is 47 blocks from here, so let's get started right away. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. This first question is about 50 bucks a piece. Here's your first one. Showing off more girl than material, what singer wore a see-through skirt to her 2008 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction? Madonna. Madonna is right, and you're on the board with 50 bucks. Let's see if you can double it. The first nationally syndicated TV preacher, Rex Humbard, inspired the New York Times to coin what hybrid word in 1973? Televangelist. That is correct, oh, and you're two yeah. for two. Wow, good. The homepage of what U.S. state features a link to a parenting website called bluegrassmoms.com? Bluegrass has got to be Kentucky. Kentucky is correct, and you're three for three, and up to 150 bucks. Great. Here's your final $50 question. All right. 39 blocks to go. Intoxicatingly clean, what brand of hand sanitizer from Johnson & Johnson is 62% ethyl alcohol? Oh. Pure out. Yes, Purell is right. Whoa. Good for another 50 bucks and you're up to 200. Whoa. All right, you're four for four. That's it for the 50s. These next questions are worth $100 each, and they're a little bit harder. Here's your first $100 question. What Looney Tunes rooster was inspired by a southern fried radio character named Senator Claghorn? Looney Tunes rooster, Senator Claghorn. Five seconds. Nope. Oh no, time is running out. That's your first strike. Bill, be careful. Two more of those, and it's all over. The correct answer is Foghorn Leghorn. Foghorn Leghorn. Okay. Let's see if we can get back on track with this next one. Uh, uh, okay. The nautical equivalent of bootlegging, what alliterative term refers to the smuggling of liquor by boat? Boatlegging? Oh no, strike two. I like that, boat legging. <laughs> it's a good answer, but no, it's rum running. Don't forget about those shout outs. You still have a You now have two strikes, one more wrong answer, and that's all she wrote. And that's it, I collect nothing. All right, here is your next $100 question. An outspoken separatist, Daniel Terp, has campaigned to create the internet domain .qc for what provincial region? Quebec, Canada. Yes! Quebec well, Canada is correct. Oh my god. And you're back on track and up to 300 bucks. Well done, Bill. Okay. Oh my god. Largely owned by Amtrak, what Boston to DC railroad line is abbreviated NEC? New England Corridor. Northeast Corridor. Yes! Northeast yeah. Corridor is correct. And you're up to 400. I thought you were going for a sell -off. You have 15 blocks to go. Okay. Made with woven straw. What traditional Japanese mats serve as a unit of measurement for the size of Tokyo apartments? Tatami. Tatami is correct. Oh. All right, here we go. Here's your next $200 question to bring you up to 800 bucks. The chief component of cell walls in plants, what substance can be digested by cows and termites, but not humans? Cellulose. Cellulose is right, and you're up to 800. Though landlocked, Bolivia maintains an active navy on the shores of what odd-sounding lake? Lake Titicaca. That is correct. Okay, and my you're man. Still in the cabin up to a thousand bucks. All right, we've got a block to go. You have a thousand bucks. It's going to be your final question to bring you up to twelve hundred for twelve hundred or nothing because we're here. In eighteen eighty-nine, the American Red Cross handled its first large-scale disaster when twenty million tons of water flooded what Pennsylvania town? Johnstown. You just won twelve hundred dollars in the cash cow! Oh my god, great! <laughs> <laughs> what did you have me on those two other questions? <laughs> Jeez. All right, so
So here's the deal, Bill. Yes, sir. You have won one thousand two hundred dollars in the cash. Right. Back. I've got it right here. I can give it to you now. Yeah. Take it and be on your way. Yeah. Or you can stick around. Yeah. And risk it all and go double or nothing on a video bonus question. I think I'll take the money and run. You gotta take the money and run. Yeah. All right. A wise choice, Bill. Maybe we'll never know. All right. So here we go. Here's your twelve hundred bucks. Congratulations. Thanks, Great man. Great game, Bill. Thanks for playing. Have a good night, Bill. Really nice to meet you. It doesn't matter.